All right, uh, here we go. Um, probably like one of the most rising uh, entrepreneurs in uh, Toronto. Alessandra, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Doing all right, uh, thank you uh, for uh, coming by and doing this uh, TLY sec uh, segment with us. For sure, thanks so much for having me. For sure. So you are like one of the more like notable and blogged out independent artists in Canada. With so many artists trying to make a name for themselves, what's your advice to those like looking to stand out? This number one is know your truth and have the confidence to speak your truth. Uh, the second thing I would say is definitely know the difference between what you want and what you think you want. Uh, I say, you know, it's important to dream but also it's important to do your research and talk to as many people as you can who are, uh, you know, working in a field that you want to be successful. I read that you draw like a lot of like musical inspiration from like the city of Toronto. So uh, can you tell us more about that? Grew up in Vaughan. Um, I went to school in Markham, and then I lived in Toronto. All while I was kind of like molding my molding myself. You know, I was still growing and uh, experiencing life at a really young age. And so I was always the type of kid who I had different groups of friends from like everywhere I was. I never had like a core group of friends, but I was always like here, there and everywhere. So Toronto for me, like I take a lot of my influence out of the city of Toronto and that's only because that's where I spent the most time being influenced by culture, by, by friends, by food, by, you know, experiences. So that really shaped, I'd say like, who I am and how I carry myself in the world no matter where I am. And uh, one of your most exciting and interesting things about you is like, how versatile of a performer you are. You release like singles that are so different from one to the next, from singing on like Think About Love to rapping in your catchy song Vibrator. So what can we expect to hear on this uh, new project? With this album, my first debut full project that I've been working up to for years and years and years, um, same kind of process. I've been just like getting in with different, you know, different genre producers and and you know different collaborators and just taking everything that I like, pieces that I like, and kind of molding my own distinctive sound, staying true to myself, and um, that way it's not going to sound like anybody else. But I can tell you that we're really close and definitely going to be dropping at least little pieces of something probably by spring of 2021 so we're super excited for that.